Just how fast can your external storage get nowadays? Do you think you're going to be surprised? Let's find out. Welcome back to the channel. So here we are again. We're going to be testing another 40 gigabit per second enclosure right here. And this one's by Gigamundo. I think I'm saying that right. Gigi Mundo. I have no idea. Who cares? Anyways, it's, I think it's Gigamundo. I'm sticking to that. Anyways, this is the AJM40C. You can see the model number. I'll show you close-ups of the box as well for all it's worth. Now, the box has a gold one on it, but actually, I actually picked up the silver one, or I think it's space gray one, actually. The space gray, it's right over here. I'll show it to you in a second. So the box is a little bit different, but I got the space gray. Anyways, long story short, I wanted to do this one because this one, and I'll show you a close-up of the Amazon page, it's on sale for $90, so $90.99, when a lot of these things go for like $140 or $130, $140, $150. So this is actually one of the cheapest ones out there for... 90 bucks basically and uh, so you can take a look at the Amazon page very very good deal so I wanted to try this right I mean is this gonna be as fast as the one I tested before now if you've been you know, following my channel I do a ton of these things I a long time ago I did or maybe a couple months ago I did this a case this one it's sitting right here and here's the box I'll show you close-ups of the box as well but I have it right here just proven to you so there it is I did the test on that one and it was really fast actually and that video did awesome it's got like 140,000 views or something so that everyone loved the you know fast storage for your Mac right so I figured, hey, that thing is like 130, 140 bucks for that enclosure. Let's just try this $90 one by Gigamundo. It says it's 40 gigabits per second, but is it? And, and are we gonna get the same speeds? So in this video, I just wanna show you a little bit about this enclosure here. I'm gonna show you the cord and stuff. And then I'm gonna do a speed test on Blackmagic just to show you that initial speed. But then we're gonna do a more sustained test of about 25 gigabytes to see if there's any drop off on it. And, uh, and then we're gonna wrap it up. So if you're interested in buying this, it's only 90 bucks right now. This is actually something that you may wanna watch, see how this performs. And this is really more of a product showcase. I can't do super long testing on this. So do your own testing after you see this to make sure it's right for you. But at least you'll get some initial details. All right, so my initial impressions of the build quality. All right, it's, it's slightly larger than the Acasis one down here. It's a little bit longer, a little bit taller, but full metal as well. So that's really nice, right? Full metal. The cord itself is, you can see, about that long. I don't know, a foot long. And it has USB-C on the side that goes into the enclosure. On the other side, it's got a dongle that you can move back and forth. USB-C's there and then USB-A's there. But you definitely want to connect to USB-C into your computer if you want to get that fastest speed there. So keep that in mind, right? So there it is. Now, if you open this thing up, it's all full metal. There's only one screw in the bottom. I'll show it to you. You unscrew that very easy. It comes with a screwdriver. In fact, what does it come with? Take a look, all right? So it comes with the box, the instructions, comes with the screwdriver, comes with some screws, but it does come with the enclosure, and then you also get thermal pad it comes with and a little metal piece to help with the cooling and, uh, you know, some other things in there you can see as long as in the cord as well. So very typical stuff. Now, when you open this thing up, you can see the red inside of it, all right? Now, this is actually very easy to install the SSD. Some of these are not. So you basically slot it in there, and then there's a screw that you screw it instead of, you know, sometimes they give you like a little rubber stopper. It's impossible to get in there. Anyways, this is easy. So if you don't want to deal with that, this one's really easy to use. Now, they, this actually takes only, you got to be, this is important. It only takes uh, NVMe drives. It does not take SATA M.2, only NVMe M.2. M.2. I'm losing my mind here. So NVMe M.2. And it, it takes the M key or the M B and M key. So B and M or the M key. So either of those will work, but not SATA. Just keep that in mind. And it says it only supports 2280 size. So it's the standard size uh, external SSDs, the M.2 drives. It won't take the small ones or the other ones because there's not a screw in there for that. All right. Just keep that in mind. All right. So now that the actual, we, we see that it's pretty, made pretty well for 90 bucks. I mean, as well as it can be, right? What we're gonna do is a speed test. We're gonna do that black magic test and then a more sustained test. But before I do that, I just wanna let you know what's, what's the SSD I'm gonna be using. That's obviously one of the most important things here, right? Now, they recommend on their website, they have a whole like graph in here, and I'll put it up on the, as I'm talking here. I'll show you guys what, what they're saying. I didn't follow that really at all, although mine's on the list. Um, but I chose this one because I always use this one for all my tests. This is the Western Digital Black SN770. It's one terabyte here. I'll show you close-ups because there's a little shadow there. Long story short, though, this thing's pretty inexpensive. I mean, it's really, I think it's like under 50 bucks or something. So these are really good to pick up, and it's really a fast drive, right? So I wanted to use that for the test, and now we're going to do the speed test to see how lightning fast this thing is. Maybe it's slow. We don't know. But let's do that test now, and I'm going to share my screen and uh, give you the information you've been waiting for. All right, so if you look at my screen, we have Blackmagic up. I've selected this Western Digital Drive and the enclosure we're talking about. Let's go ahead and click on one, two, three. Let's see how fast this thing is. Look at this, 2747 on the right, 
27.37 on the reads, unbelievable. 27.56, 57, and then 27.25. So there we go. I'm gonna go ahead and shut that down. Super fast on paper, right? When it does the speed test with Black Magic, we're up around close to 2,800 megabytes per second. Very comparable to the Acasis down here. So overall, so far, that's a great result. But if it gets hot and kind of goes down after you know even a couple gigabytes, then it's not really worth it, right? So let's figure that out next, and I'm going to share my screen here and let's see how this does. All right, so let's test out moving a lot of files now. So if you look at my screen, if I select all these different files over here, I'm selected them all. Pro tip, if you right click on this, it says get info. If you click that, it's gonna bring up a whole bunch of windows, individual sizes of all the files. I don't want that. Hold down the option key. See how it changes it to show inspector right there? Show inspector with the option key held down. Now you click on this. It's gonna give you the total size of all the files combined, 25 gigabytes. So we have 25 gigabyte of files here. I think there's like 12 files. We're gonna copy it over here and see if this thing is consistent or it's gonna kind of dip down. So here we go, I'm gonna go one, two, three when I drop it off so we can know when it's gonna start. So I have them in my hands, we're gonna go one, two, three, go. So here we go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. About 10 seconds. So it didn't look like it dropped off. 25 gigabytes of files and probably 10 or a little bit less than 10 seconds there really fast enclosure. You let me know what you think. I mean, obviously I can go longer on these tests. It's, these things do heat up a little bit over time. So one thing, it's really, it, there's no heat on it right now. I'm feeling it, obviously. I only did 25 gigabytes of files. If you get really, really hot SSDs in here, it's gonna be a little bit hotter. What I recommend doing on this thing, I've, I've done some testing on this, the thermal pad it gives you is not, not, it's not thick enough, right? And there's a little metal thing they want you to put on there, and that's not thick enough to, to reach the top of the enclosure. I would put a couple or a thicker thermal pad in there so it actually touches the top of the metal here. It dissipates that heat up, and then the bottom of it will stay cool. That's kind of the best success I've gotten. So you gotta really engineer your own cooling in these things because they all get pretty hot. Um, and when they get hot, they maybe slow down a little bit. But so far, this one's been pretty good for my limited testing. And I just wanted to show you like 25 gigabytes in less than 10 seconds is, is a, you know, it's a luxury for a lot of people I know out there. And this is one of those things. All right, so let's wrap this up. So a couple things I noticed here. So I did the Acasis a while ago, an awesome enclosure. Not gonna complain about that. Um, but this one's on sale right now for, uh, you know, $90, which is a great price on it. And it does come in gold. Um, just basically silver and then the space gray, which is what I have. So it does come with three different colors. I'll show you the back of the box there. So overall, you know, I haven't done, again, I don't do full testing. I'm not, I don't want to get into a Linus Tech situation. <laughs> I, I, I'm not, I know I'm not qualified for that. I don't have, you know, sensors and stuff. But what I can tell you is my initial showcase of this product has been positive. It's worked. I mean, I literally threw it in there, my S, you know, this exact hard drive, and I'm getting close to 2,800 megabytes per second read and writes, and I can transfer, you know, 25, 50 gigabytes of files without it getting over hot. So that's typically what my workload is, and that's typically how I use this thing. I don't do much more than that, so I'm not transferring like a terabyte here, terabyte there. I just don't do that. But overall, I might do another, you know, test on this later and maybe follow up or something when I get down the road a little bit. But initially, this thing's pretty good, and I think it would be good for you too for 90 bucks. That's all I can say, but I'm not recommending anything because I don't. You have to do your own research, all right?